Hey YouTube, it's Ricky. I want to start out by saying I'm super thankful for everybody that's subscribed, that's been uh, following me on Facebook and Instagram. Please join us. Um, you could search Relentless Resellers and find me there. I'm giving out a lot of uh, a lot of tips, a lot of behind the scenes at my estate sales, a lot of videos, a lot of stuff that I thrift to resell on Amazon and uh, eBay. It's just a great thing, you know. This whole thing is about helping each other out, you know, building some good relationships. I mean, there's some really good quality people uh, on the internet, on YouTube. So we're constantly helping each other out and learning from each other. So I really hope you uh, join me there or subscribe, like this video. I want to talk about setting up a route for your weekend haul. So when you're getting ready for the sales, now there's a lot of sales starting out earlier in the week. So you really want to start looking Thursday. Usually, I mean, personally, I do my estate sales Friday, Saturday. If it's a really good sale, the house is full of stuff, I'll go into a Sunday. But there's a lot of companies that are starting out really early in the week. I mean, honestly, you should probably start you should look every day because I've seen sales that I missed on a Tuesday and I'm like, wow, I could have went to the sale, you know, because I'm off on those days. Usually I'm working on a weekend, so I'm really trying to find places to thrift during the weekdays. So sometimes they're starting as soon as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday is, is the norm. So this is what you want to do. One of my favorite quotes, find out what everyone is doing and do something else. So in the thrifting world, in the reselling world, what is everyone doing? They're all going to Goodwills. They're all going to Salvation Army, right? We know that's where you could find stuff, right? Even though they're overpriced. We know that's where you could find stuff. But the problem is everybody else knows it too. So I try to avoid any chains. And not that they're not good, not that if you're passing by, you might as well stop because you're, you know, you're in route, you're right there, you might as well stop and take a look. But I'm going to highly recommend that you go to garage sales first. So how I set myself up is I go through all these different websites and I write down my little map, right? So I'm mapping out where I'm going to thrift for the day, going according to my niche, going according to what the sale looks like. Uh, how close it is. So what I do is really focus in on the garage sales, the estate sales, um, the flea markets, the church sales is really where you want to go. Okay, so find out what everyone is doing and do something else because most of them are flying to the Goodwill, they're going to the Salvation Army, they're going to that local thrift store. While everybody's there, you're at the garage sale. Right, you're at the flea market. You're at the uh, the estate sale. So I'm gonna highly recommend a couple sites that I use. So very obvious, Craigslist still works great. Facebook more and more. So you want to go on Facebook and look for local sales. Uh, there's a site that many people surprisingly don't know about. It's called EstateSales.net. It's probably my number one marketing tool when it comes to my estate sales. So that's a really popular site where you could find estate sales in your local area. You could do like a mile radius and find some excellent sales. Uh, so, and then there's another one called yardsalesearch.com. That gets a lot of locals, so you'll get a lot of garage sales on there. And you wanna go through. So obviously, you know, you wanna look at the photos, but I'm gonna give you another tip. You wanna look at the ones with no photos. All right, now this is a huge tip. Now, a lot of people, just because we got so used to the visual content online that if you don't see some, you don't see a picture, you're just, you keep scrolling, right? Because that next picture is nice and shiny, it has some antiques or this, that. But understand the mentality behind this. Usually we're looking for vintage or antiques, right? The older, the better. It's usually where the money is for thrifters, right? For people that are selling on eBay, uh, even Amazon, Etsy, Posh, whatever you're doing, right? So this is what I'm going to recommend. 
there's been some great sales that I've been to that had no photos. Why do they not have photos? This is what happens. So a lot of times it's someone older. So it's someone older that doesn't have maybe a, a phone with the camera and the whole setup. So they're just posting a sale, right? So you definitely want to hit that up. I would maybe put that first on my criteria because so many people are passing it up. Just like when everybody's at the Goodwill and everybody's at the, the sale with all the great pictures, you kind of want to sneak in and go to the one with no photos because maybe it's somebody older. Older means they have older stuff. In turn means they have maybe vintage antiques that you're going to resell and maximize your money. So I would absolutely recommend that. And then another thing is the local papers, which is like become forgotten, right? But the older people, and it's this is not just older people. This is people that aren't tech savvy, right? They don't, maybe they don't have a phone. They still have a flip phone. Maybe they, they still have a beeper. Who knows? Who cares? You just want to show up anyway, all right? So local paper obviously is probably not going to have photos. So when they have that little couple lines, garage sale, this, that, show up um now not saying again that i don't go to the goodwill but goodwill is like the last resort so at the end of the day when you went around you exhausted all your local options goodwill's still going to be there they're open till eight or nine whatever it is you go there at the end of the day and uh and it's a little bonus round right so hopefully you maximize it you maximize your money in a day you go there at night Maybe you find a little something extra. So it's all about breaking your pattern. You know, I know it's the easy thing to do, right? I mean, I go to the Goodwills and I'm shocked. I mean, there's nothing there. Everything's overpriced and the lot is full. So I literally pass by on my way to the little garage sale, laughing at the parking lot thinking, you know, what are these people thinking? So listen, you use your own discretion. I'm just telling you what works for me and hopefully it'll help you out. And again, I talk about diversity. So while you're out and about, always try to maximize every penny you could at a sale. You're spending your gas, your time. You know, a lot of people are doing this full time. This is what they're doing for a living. So you need to really make your money. So while you're there, watch my other videos, look at th other things to buy. I know a lot of people are into clothing, into books. I love books. But while you're there, you might, there might be a, piece of mid-century modern furniture that you find. There might be some vintage tools. There might be some records, some jewelry, you know, check back on some of my other videos to really kind of know what to look for while you're out and about. And, um, you know, I wish you luck. Uh, this is how I do it. I set myself up a nice route, get my lunch ready, get the drink ready, charged phone, always have a pocket full of singles because you want to haggle, right? You need to haggle. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to do another video about bulk buying at garage sales, estate sales, whatever, and haggling, because that's how you maximize. Put a whole group of things together as a bulk deal, ask them how much, and start your haggling, work your way, you know? So I'll do a video about that. Oh, I'm still learning so much, you know, just watching other YouTube videos or you know, people on Facebook, on Instagram. It's a great community. I really appreciate it. And um, have a great day. Go make some money. Thank you.